Hi everyone, welcome back to week six of the 2012 NFL season. I've got my lucky Godfather shirt on. I'm going to make you some picks that you can't refuse. The first game we're going to look at has Pittsburgh going to Tennessee where the Titans are six point dogs at home. Wow, the Titans are really struggling. Matt Hasselbeck just is not an NFL caliber quarterback anymore. And I don't even think Chris Johnson is an NFL caliber running back. The Titans are last in defense in points allowed. And they would be last in offense points scored had it not been for some of those fluky touchdowns that they had in that Detroit game. Pittsburgh isn't as good on the road as they are at home, but they should have no problem here. Lay the points. Take Pittsburgh minus six. The second game we're going to look at has St. Louis going to Miami, where the Dolphins are three and a half point uh, favorites at home. The Dolphins would actually be four and one if not for a couple of heartbreaking losses in overtime. They're a much improved team that people should pay attention to. You know, St. Louis has a real pop gun offense. Uh, I think quarterback Sam Bradford has maybe the weakest arm in the entire NFL. They they are averaging about just a little bit under seven points in their last three games. It, they did score a lot of points the first two weeks, but that was against uh, uh, Washington and Detroit, I believe it was. They're just not scoring points. W wide receiver Danny Amendola is gone. I think Miami, with their very solid defense, will keep St. Louis in single digits and, and then win by a score of something like 17 to 7. Lay the points, take Miami three and a half. The third game we're going to look at has my beloved Minnesota Vikings going to Washington, where the Redskins are two point favorites at home. You know, it's time to realize that Minnesota is a very good team. Now, I know this team very well. I've been following them for over 30 years. The problem with the Vikings last year is that they were never using their top caliber, or their top draft picks. Percy Harvin, who is the most explosive player in the league, in my opinion, was only used about 57% of the time on offense. Well, you can see what he's doing now as he's been, uh, he's more into the uh, offensive scheme. Christian Ponder was our first round draft pick last year. Well, he missed the OTAs because of the lockout, and then he sat on the bench for half the season, so he didn't really get a lot of reps in. Well, he's playing very well right now. So is uh, uh, our second round pick, Kyle Rudolph. You also throw in Matt Khalil, who is our, is our left tackle. He's a number one draft pick. And then Blair Walsh, the kick, uh, the, the place kicker, who is number three in the, in the league in scoring. All of a sudden, you've got your top guys on offense who are, are the top picks. Also on defense, the same thing. Chris Cook, who was a high draft pick before, he, well, he was suspended for most of the, of the year last year, and um, we've added Harrison Smith to the secondary. You throw in guys like Jared Allen, Chad Greenway, and then the, maybe the best running back in the entire league in uh, Adrian Peterson. You've got a very good team. Look for Minnesota to whack Washington with an upset here. Take Minnesota, and you even get two points. And the fourth game we're going to look at, has Green Bay going to Houston in the Monday Nighter? The the Texans are three and a half point favorites here. It is absolutely do or die time for Green Bay. If they lose this game, they can kiss their playoff chances goodbye. Uh, Houston has lost their defensive leader Brian Cushing, the linebacker. He's gone for the year. This could be a look ahead game for Houston as well. They don't really need to have this. They are already five and zero and one game up on everybody. They could be looking ahead to the Baltimore game. Uh, next week. Look for the Packers to go in and upset Houston. And even if they don't, you do get the points. So take Green Bay plus three and a half. Here are my four over-under plays. The first game we're going to look at has Cincinnati going to Cleveland. That number is 44 and a half. They've already played this year and that number went way over. They scored 61 points in that game. They're four and one to the over in the last five meetings that they've played. Cleveland only played five overs all of last year, and two of them were against Cincinnati. So let's take over at 44 and a half. The second game is Indianapolis at the New York Jets. Indy might be coming off of a, an, a, an offensive letdown, an emotional letdown after that come from behind win last week, where they won for their coach. You know the Jets don't score many points, but they they don't give up many points either. Let's take under 43. The third game we're going to look at has St. Louis going to Miami. I think I talked about that one a little bit earlier. You know, two very good defenses. I, I don't think St. Louis will score very many points. Let's take under 37.5, even though it's a very low number. And the fourth game we're going to look at, we talked about earlier, 
Green Bay is at Houston. That number is 49 and a half. And Green Bay is going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at Houston. The, the Houston's lost their, their linebacker. I, I think that it's absolute desperation time. Green Bay does give up a lot of points too. Houston has only played one real gunslinger so far, and that was Peyton Manning. And that's the only time that Houston has played to the over. So that's what we'll do. Let's take over 49 and a half. Here are my straight up plays for this week. If you're in a suicide pool and you're still alive, it's a really tough week to pick one, especially if you're in one of those pools where you can't use the same team twice and you've already used Atlanta. They're the only team that's favored by more than a touchdown. Uh, San Francisco is going up and they're at six and a half, but they're facing the Giants. That's never an easy game. And uh, we talked about Houston who are 5-0, and oh, well, they're facing a very uh, uh, dangerous Green Bay team who absolutely must win. You might want to consider taking New England, but I, I don't like to take visiting teams in a suicide pool, and we all know what happens to teams that go to Seattle. That's a great defense, especially at home. You could even consider taking my Minnesota Vikings, but then again, that's a road team. Another safe bet would probably be Philadelphia at home. Detroit is coming off of the bye, but... Philadelphia is a much better team. Detroit is just making all kinds of mistakes. They're so sloppy, so you might want to consider them. Fortunately, in my pool, I can pick whoever I want, and I myself am going with Atlanta. Okay, so those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Keep sending in your votes for your favorite videos and nominate the, uh, the videos that you like for a Geo Knows Award. You know, last week I received the most nominations ever in the, this is the second year I've been doing this. So keep at it. For those of you who are making videos, keep up the good work and you never know, you might get nominated for a Geo Knows Award. Okay, part of the Geo Knows YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.